Just getting ready for the open house. Love the stained glass, which I think is amazing. But I'm here in hashtag grandpa's house, uh, day two of the open house. So we are sold conditional, but uh, the reason that I still show up on uh, for the open house is just because everything's been already uploaded into realtor.ca and up onto Trip. So I do want to still be here present and let people know that it's sold conditional. But the one thing that I always do is all the agents who have an appointment for today, I did call them and let them know that we are sold conditionally. But if you'd like to bring your clients by, then you're more than welcome to do so. With choco pie in hand, we are going to have a successful open house. And who doesn't love choco pie? Here it's Tuesday, just finished my door knocking campaign on this beautiful, beautiful uh, morning and now it's almost afternoon, but I'm excited put in the work right so as realtors make sure that you put in the work I'd like to start the day off with my morning routine and then start doing the things that need to be get done to, That needs to get done first so that now I get to take my daughter out for a, uh, an afternoon matinee It's a Thursday afternoon and um, I wanted to just update some people a bit, hashtag grandpa's house. So actually on the first day we had multiple offers. We got into multiple offers after 20, 12 showings. So we had a few offers come to the table. We did actually secure above ask uh, on the property. However, there was the condition on finance. So, you know, as much as we get really, really excited about an above ask price, uh, we also have to know that offers that do come with finance, there is the possibility of it potentially being, you know, um, not, not altered, but there being maybe a little bit of a hiccup uh, because of the banks and the financial institutions. So the appraiser came out and the appraiser actually appraised the property for less than what the buyers had offered. So that being said, for the buyers to qualify, they would have to come up with that difference. And unfortunately, the buyers couldn't. So. The deal fell through, but I got on the phone that night and I contacted every single agent that had come through the property. So over 40 agents. And then within two hours, I was able to secure another offer, an above ask pro uh, offer on the property, which is fantastic. My sellers, you know, they were a little bit sad, um, but you know what? With giving bad news, you gotta make sure you're also to give, able to give good news. So with that, I told them, unfortunately the deal didn't go through, but that I had another amazing above ask price, which they were happy with again. So I'm pretty excited at this meeting, actually. I, it's not a, a real estate transaction, um, but it's someone who actually reached out to me through Tom Ferry, uh, which is great. So uh, I'm gonna be meeting him at our local Tim's with regards to uh, my experiences with Tom Ferry and uh, he's looking to become a coaching client as well, uh, which is awesome. So he actually had asked me if I could be his coach. So soon, my friend, soon if uh, if everything goes well. But it's uh, I love just being able to sh share my experiences, speak my truth with this journey and how uh, being with the Tom Ferry organization has been amazing. It's a beautiful uh, sunny afternoon, so I'm outside the office today. Going to make some phone calls. So. Just here at Master Chung's waiting for uh, my two little nuggets, my two little meatballs uh, as they get ready for their Taekwondo lessons. Noah in particular, he's been kind of craving or really been on this Power Rangers kick. Uh, so he calls Taekwondo his Power Rangers school. So, uh, I've been meeting clients of mine who purchased this beautiful penthouse condo. They're going to do a little bit of work. So we're meeting with some contractors. So really excited to meet the contractor and see kind of what the design elements are going to be for, for their project. But anyways, hope everyone's enjoying their Friday. Just about to go get my hair cut. There's my head. And this is a shout out to all my students who used to make terrible fun of their teacher, their former teacher for balding. But as always, be <laughs> really So excited. So, so excited. Hey everyone, Steve Kim here from Real Estate Signature, just standing outside of my listing in Richmond Hill that I actually managed to sell in two days. But a lot of people were like, Steve, how did you manage to get multiple offers in less than two days and a home in Richmond Hill? And I'm gonna be honest, look, it's a lot of work, right? It, it, I know it, it, it may seem easy to do, but it's a lot of work. And one of the things that I use is I use the power of social media. So social media, if you've been following me, following me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I take this property and I run some very calculated Facebook ads. And really this video is a reach out, is, it's kind of a shout out uh, to all my fellow realtors and stuff like that who may be on sitting on the fence being, Steve, I don't know if social media works. It works. So paid ad here, 
very, very focused demographic of people um, and interests that I targeted, which is why the person who bought this house, it was his brother who saw my Facebook video and shared it to him. And then he went to realtor.ca. So be between the two. So based on that, he came to the open house and he submitted the offer using me. Really, really excited uh, about to call hashtag grandpa's house and let them know that they are now sold firms. Part of the job I love so, so much.